Hey there, everyone, this is Al Cow, and alright, Neighboritos, we've just been playing around along for too long. It's now time to take this game seriously. Follow directions on my translation sheet and go to the satin beach iceberg. Look, if you go to a beach and it don't have an iceberg, you're you're going to a bad beach. I did it, I followed the coins. This is what I get. <laughs> I didn't even go downwards. Rude, rude, rude. Three star. Nice ice block. Weird music. That's probably a spiny. Like I know, I know the drill. I know the falsification. I thought a platform's. Oh man, it's the munch jump. Oh man, no, I don't. That's a. That's a football. That's a football. Just because it looks like a baby's face, it's still a football. Uh, it's just the thing you make the football from, probably. Alright, so as of now, uh, oh no, it's football again. Well, you know what, we can just, hey, remember this? Yeah, see? Oh, there's even, like, the fireball graphic from Kirby's Curb Zone. Is there anything up there? There's a pipe up there. Is there, like, a secret exit up there? Oh, a uh, secret exit you need to get by jumping on a thrown baby's face, like... That feels like something a criminal would do. Well, I can always just get a free, literally free flower right here. Ah, uh, I didn't jump! <laughs> okay, I'm still trying this, apparently. There we go! That's how you got this dragon coin. But it looks like there's a pipe. Maybe, you see, it leads to a brand new place with water and a fish generator. Alright, this is it. I'm... Falling in my face. Uh, will the tide rise? Do you think? So you got this dragon coin. You go fish zone. Yeah, it does rise. Cause there's a platform over there. Mysterious like the moon. A switch. I can't press it because I'm. Eh. All right. I didn't expect. Whoa! A Nintendo Switch to be up there in the iceberg. Like, what does that mean? And that throws me back here immediately. Alright, I mean, I don't know if the level has secret exit or not. But now we've got... Ice physics, one tile, let's go, so... Whatever you're worried about, don't be. You're in good hand. How do you get up there? Uh, oh. <laughs> Alright! Sure. That makes you happy, my friend. I'm not gonna stop you, but I am gonna destroy these weird faces. Okay, that's a five-star difficulty drop, so you have to be careful. I did it! I got alive. Alright, that guy's fireproof, so don't bother the hamster. Ah, I've unlocked the way over there, but are there floors? I guess I was supposed to fly fly. There is a secret exit, and that's where it is at. So you need to actually fly fly in there. Okay. That's a thing. How to do. Maybe not. That part is legit kind of hard, honestly. Yeah. No! Just a five star drop. Ah, well. I mean, I can try and clone it. That way I could get a feather. I've never been good at that though. But I have like... Yeah, oh, hi. So, I can't fly. So, we're just gonna go and try for... Normal exit. Oh, I wish I had that sh Ah! You slide! As good as you are at Mario, one tile ice physics are always going to be dangerous. That's, that's just, that's just how it is. Uh, it's just not particularly fun because it's kind of a no, bush. Dude, really? You're gonna sand glitch me on this segment? Ugh. All right. <laughs> Doing it the scary way. Now pretend to be an earthworm. I feel like that could have gone real ugly. 
Alright, so... I have to fly, and I have to, like, actually fly. Should I destroy him first? Maybe, yeah. Alright, let's do that. I guess the safest bet would be to try and slow fly. Like, I have plenty of time. Wait. Is it letting me fly? There you go. So let's just take our time. Okay, that might be taking our time a little bit much. Especially since then that just happened. I just... <laughs> Punishment! For failure. Feels like, like it's gonna be harsh, so... Because I know you need to go underneath the wall here. Then rise above it, and there you go. You get a key, you get a lock, you get a crocodile on the floor. You can rub its belly all you want, just don't leave it at the door. That doesn't mean anything. That was a, was a fortress. Alright, so let's do a level for real. Now I don't need to redo uh, the intro part. That makes me really happy. Because I don't need to just... Ah, well, you know what? I had too much of an of an advantage. I had to stop that. It was just unfair. <laughs> Dang it, bat! I would. I'm not used to there being a bat. So there we go. Like not having to just redo this great sea of fish. Ah, oh, darn it! I'm dead. But I can do that now. Is is gonna be meaningful? Like it's just weird because it's a weirdly slow segment. Like, for any and all of Haimari's fault in this game, you can tell dude is a guy who likes to hurry up. More often than not, if you rush, you're gonna be an advantage in this game. Why did I do that? What did I, well, because it, it doesn't matter anyways, because you don't get a, a supply power up from here. Like, ah, oh man, you get a sense that Haimari likes to rush, and his levels are made for that. But the pawn level is just kind of weird, because you just kind of wait in the pond. I guess maybe in the, he intends you to jump on a fish all the way up and not use the tide, which would be faster, but... Dang it, significantly harder. Oh well. It doesn't matter, because it's all done. It's all done. See? Normally I just ran underneath that bat. I've done it for so long! It's all I know what to do. Alright, now let's stop falling in the holes for no reason. Uh. Like, I'm not kidding myself. This is... How? Ah, oh, whatever. Whatever. How did any of that... Ah, whatever. Nah! Ascension glitched again. Ah, oh, what? I'm gonna change my mind and clear my head a bit by farming for lives, I guess. Why? No, dude! I don't think that's physically possible. Who duh, why? I don't get it. It's the same thing. So I don't get it why this is now suddenly an impossible obstacle. When in the past, it was like something I didn't even think about. What happened? Whatever. I, uh, I'm just bemused is all. Alright, I did it. I did what I could do thoughtlessly mo minutes before. <laughs> Finally. Alright, alright, so now to get hit by that spiny. Perfect. Alright. We're clear. New things. Aeons later. I don't know if the Swift's gonna have any other effects in the future. Doesn't matter to me. New segment. Yeah, just pull me right up next to an enemy. Jerk. More football. More f hey, if you don't get here with a feather, I guess you can try to uh, 
to uh, a shell jump up here. All right. Well, it clearly expects you to have a feather. It'd be easy enough to fly around, honestly. Like, I can try and wheedle something there, or I can be smart and do this. Like, I, ah! He just came out. Came out of that pipe. Like some kind of pipe came out of over. All right. Well, I mean, as long as I can just keep destroying the universe, at the very least, a little bit at a time. Not anymore. This is a nightmare. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's the midpoint, by the way. Oh, this is so much harder than like it's it's ah. So you need your momentum to be able to make it. I keep hearing bats flutter, but I don't know from where. Okay, so I guess it's from there. So you need your momentum. This is... This feels so terrible! Alright. Uh, 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 I was ducking! I pressed down! <sighs> I don't need any more. Alright, so here you're gonna get ambushed. Like, straight up. You want your double feathers. That's just the only way to live, my friend. Alright, no, no to ignore him. Hey, Charlie. Oh, that's fine, I got, I, got, I got the other one. Destroy these. I don't think having a feather is gonna make this any easier. Can I f possibly fly up there? I don't think so. Can I, though? I'm starting to wonder. Because if I just try to fly, see, you only get there. It doesn't help anyone. Like, it's super awkward. You need to keep your momentum and jump, jump, jump. But, like, it's ice. Remember that. Like, this is subtly one of the worst nightmares I've encountered in ever. Ugh. Like, how do? How do? You need to jump just a little bit, but... I don't know. I don't know how to do this. Is there, if I screen the scroll, is there like a cannon or something that can help me out? No? Alright, that's great. Nothing on the other side either? Nope. Uh, like, I can imagine myself dying of time out here. Not lying. Like, look, there, the the tile is, so, one, two, three, four, five, you need a running jump to get past that, that height. <sighs> ah, my thumbs hurt so much. Like, it's... Oh, now I gotta have stuff falling on? Well, you know what? At least I can do that. Uh, no, let's, let's just reset my timer. Let's see where we respawn. Because this is just ridiculous. Alright, yeah, that's what this little ice room exists for. There you go, I don't have to do the last jump. That's all I wanted to see. What do I do here? Up. Uh, all right. <laughs> nice. Good job. Friendly service. Eight out of ten. Oh, hey, Fireball. How's it going? What's that? Those are cannons. Oi, 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 oi. What a fiercely, just fiercely unfriendly level. I am genuinely curious. How High Mari believes this level deserves three star. Like, I'm not saying this level is too hard, but I'd put it on par with, like, the other four stars, right? Um. Oh. It's green. It's not red. <laughs> it's 
Is that gonna be another? I'm standing right underneath that, so it's not gonna fire. Yep, alright. Looks like I'm gonna have to learn how to deal with homing bullets. A something. Doink. Like they're not! Don't shoot another one while I'm trying. This, is, this feels like garbage. Like, they just move so weird. Under you? It's easy enough to- ah, bush, yeah. Easy enough to predict. It's when they're ben like, when- it's when they're above you. Nice. Our sp <clears throat> Like, the the football- why- that football is the worst thing in the universe! Um... Yeah. Wait, is that possible? Yes it is, but it doesn't feel great. Hey, bats. Alright. Progress. We're getting fire now. Gonna fight fire with liquid asphalt. Gonna buy it in bulk. That, uh, that's, that's gonna fire. Oh, you're supposed to bounce on a friend. Uh, yeah! Oh, you're supposed to bring your friends here. Uh, no, you're not. Okay. <laughs> I was... I hope? Is there another block somewhere? The roof is made of cannons. That's pretty scary. No, see, I'm not... See, I'm, not I'm not getting any blocks here. I think you're genuinely supposed to... Bring some homing friends over. Yeah, this is like if I was tasking, maybe I could get some startups here, but that ain't happening. Dude! How'd you fall down? Ice. Hey, hey, I need. I need more. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure that's what's supposed to happen here. Like, maybe if I hide here a little bit. More are gonna come out. I need at least one more. Alright. Now I need to... Get it up here with me. This is, yet again, just a nightmare. <sighs> Alright, I'll hide here again. Wait for one to come out. I just... Ah, alright. All right, I'm gonna follow the coins. Thank you, coin guide. You're the best. No! Oh, stupid fucking ice physics! I hate everything in this garbage piece of crap world! Like, what the hell is going on? No, wait, I should. Well, I need to get up here to get my block. Leave me alone. I'm just trying to get my block. Alright. Alright. This. I'm not sure how this ended up happening so well. 
I'm not gonna complain. Alright, I know the pipe is like around, is in that corner. So if you just throw yourself above everything and ignore the coins, okay, you still got here that you have to deal with. Which I don't think would be able to do by just swerving. Oh, that's a real mean drop, and the level isn't over once you're done, that's- oh, that's just... Do I want double cape? Yes. This is Mario World we're playing, you always want double cape. So I'm honestly kind of su surprised that this is still going. B, by the way. <laughs> be a B. Be a B to your neighbor. Why do you want me to hold jump, my friend? Explain to me why you want me to hold jump. Why is the level not over? Alright, well... B. I did. Oh, that's funny. It's exploiting its weird... Don't get sunk countermeasure to give you a weird hyper jump. <laughs> Alright, I mean, that's clever. I don't know if I like it. I don't know if it's necessary to add another portion to this level for that, but... Alright, what are you showing me now? <laughs> I mean, it's great! It's hilarious! Oh. I like how you let me waste a few blocks here before... Oh, no. Well, that's terrible. Come on, block. How'd you not break anything?! You piece of garbage block! Alright, I still have two more. But I'm angry. Three more. Still angry. Come on, grab, grab it, grab it, grab it. All right. All right. There we go. I, I, I. Well, I need room for two. So. Why is this going on? And th this has nothing to do with anything else. I came to the level before. Like, considering you start this level at 800 Mario time units, I figure this would be a. Really? Uh, I guess I can just try to eat my way in like this. Alright, so don't get bounced now because potato roof. If you need a snack, potato roof. If you need some tax, potato roof. And if you just want to eat away your time, put up a potato roof and bait a lime. There's a mystery of the things that are behind the level. What an irritating, unpleasant level to play. I mean, it starts out alright. It starts out fine. The first half ain't nothing to say bad about it. But the part with the ice background... What a miserable pile of nonsense. It, like, you just miss your cue on a bullet jump, and it's an instant, complete butt circus. And that's just not a circus you really want to go to. Like, let's be honest. 